Hey Vsauce, Mr. Steels up by here coming at you with another YouTube video. This is an unboxing of the Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma, the second plate limited edition from Sentai Filmworks. I just gotta say right off the bat, I really like this limited edition. I like it a lot more than the season one limited edition. I just like how much smaller it is, how much more sleek the design is, just uh, its appearance in general. And uh, I think uh, the way it works, how it's designed, uh, is very nice. So let's just get right into this. Um, first up, I just want to start off with a quick size comparison to the first limited edition because it is quite different in size. So we'll just move this over here. So they're about the same size in width, but as you can see, this the second season is a much, much smaller compared to the first season. Almost coming in at about a, about a third of the size. Um, so that's very nice. Uh, takes up a lot less room on the shelf. Looks, you know, has a lower, a smaller profile uh, than the uh, limited edition. But they, obviously you could tell by looking at them, they are both uh, modeled after what would be like a cutlery set. I think in the unboxing of the first limited edition, I said it might have been like a bento box. Uh, like the way the compartments are inside, I think is modeled after a bento box. Uh, which is like, if you don't know what that is, um, it's a lunchbox, just what they call a lunchbox in Japan. Uh, but I think they're actually modeled after a uh, cutlery, like a cutlery box. First one, a little more elegant. This one's more like a clean, just very simple wood kind of uh, box. And I definitely enjoy the design on them. this one much more. I thought the brown with the orange on the other one was kind of ugly. But I definitely enjoy just like this nice wood look. And you have Food Wars, the second plate. Uh, all of this is engraved into the uh, chipboard, which I thought was very nice. So we don't really have anything on the side. Just have Food Wars on the back. Nothing on this side. Nothing too crazy on the bottom. Right. Yeah, you can uh, read that at your leisure if you'd like. And then, obviously, back to the top right here. Overall, I think the presentation of this is, is very nice. The only thing that's, you know, kind of a downside is that you can't really display it sitting up. I mean, you could if you want, but I don't know if, I don't want all the weight just kind of resting and everything kind of just like sitting like this. So uh, just like this is fine. I think that's why they decided to put Food Wars right here so you could actually tell what it was um, if you kind of have it stacked sitting like this with other stuff on top of it. Um, but anyways, uh, so the top, let's just crack this up and the top just slides off just like this, uh, obviously the first limited edition kind of was like a flap held by uh, some magnets. Um, I'm glad this one just, just slips right off so I don't think there's any chance of like damaging it. But anyways, if you look right here covered uh, by the uh, cover <laughs> or the top was just this little fork and knife with a flame right there. Pretty cool. I think that might be, is that Totsuki? Academy is that the like symbol right there? It might be. Um, anyways, so here are the extras that come with this uh, limited edition. Right here we have just would seem to be like a little plate, nice and shiny. Just got Soma right there on the front. Uh, recognition of excellence. So yeah, excellente. Um, kind of looks like a like a hors d'oeuvre like dish or something. And then right here, if I can get it out. Kind of don't want to like destroy this key. Okay, oh my god, this is ridiculous. Okay, take this out first. Come on. Are you kidding me? There we go. All right, we got it out. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's just the Mets. I think it's called the Metzaluna, uh, which is just the big two-handled knife that uh, uh, the two Italian brothers use. I forgot their names off the top of my head, but it's just a pin. Um, you know, Sentai Filmworks, they love their pins. Um, so this is, it's cool though. I like, uh, you know, it's just not like some boring little character pins. This is actually pretty neat. I'm not gonna use it, but you know, it's cool to uh, look at. And then, so we'll just put that back right there. And then this is actually just a headband. If you know the character Ryu, um, he's one of, every, what the, f what the hell is this? Oh! Okay, we'll get to this in a second. Um, this is just his headband that he puts on and turns into beast mode and becomes a total savage um, at cooking and just as a person. So uh, I was thinking about not, you know, I don't really need to take it out because it's kind of just 
pink and red and it looks has flames on it um no point in taking that out uh because in the first limited edition it actually came with uh that kuma bear apron that that one guy wears you know the naked apron and uh i could not for the life of me fold that up and get it back into the box so i'm not going to unfold this even though it's just a headband so it's way simpler um but anyways uh it comes with this thing. I was like, is this just like a piece of trash just like accidentally thrown in my box? Then I realized you just take this right here, unfold it. It just unfolds just like that. And then you stick this thing on here for display. So it'd be like, like that right there. So this is actually pretty neat. Um, otherwise it would just, you know, if you like putting up like like merchandise on like a book on top of a shelf or on top of a dresser like cool little um items this would be something you could do that with um after it actually doesn't look half bad um with this little uh i don't know easel i guess you could call it um but yeah that's a pretty cool little addition to this i'm glad they included that because otherwise that thing is kind of useless so this can just go right back into that compartment so actually, this is what I really like about this box set. We're going to get to the case and I think a hardcover art book um, is that it doesn't, you don't pull this up, which I thought you might. Um, it does not, this doesn't like flip down uh, kind of like the first limited edition did. Um, it actually, you just do this and it just separates just like this. I thought that was really awesome just opens up just like that to reveal we have like a little magazine it looks like not a hardcover magazine which I was hoping for and then under there is going to be our blu-ray and DVD so once again just like that I think that's 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 really awesome and then again we have Food Wars Shokugeki no Soma right there um, and then it gets covered up yeah, I think that's pretty that's pretty flippin' sweet, dude. Oh, and it actually does have the Food Wars, or it has this little uh, insignia right there, right there on the back as well. So yeah, I really like the design of this, um, and it's obviously, this isn't just hanging on, it's supported by the other part of the box right there. So I think that looks, or that opens, that's a nice little gimmick that this has. So anyways, uh, let's just take a look at this little booklet that comes with it. Pretty nice. Uh, we just got some of the guys right there on the front. Oh, we even got... So it looks like episodes? Episode guides? Or something? Oh, okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. This is like, a, this is like another magazine type thing. It's the showdown between... Uh... Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. I really like that. So yeah, just um, some little articles and stuff like that. Character guides and whatnot. You know, usual stuff that comes in a Sentai Filmworks uh, you know, booklet. So, pretty cool. This is, uh, I, I, they do put a, a bit of effort into stuff like this. No art in here, it looks like. Um, I'm sure there'll be art cards somewhere else hidden in the DVD cases. Um, because they always gotta include art cards. Um, but yeah, obviously, you get your own. You can take, uh, a look through that whenever you want. So yeah, pretty cool. I uh, kind of hoping it was hardcover. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But, I guess I'm not begging. I'm paying. <laughs> uh, so starting off, we have the... Blu-ray case right here, which just uh, mirrors the same image on the little booklet. So let's just crack this open. Okay, yeah, I was right. Art cards and well, bam, right there in the front. Hit you right in the face with those. Um, here is the two discs. I believe this is just the second plate is just 13 episodes. Um, so this is disc one and two. Pretty neato. And then back is just going to be your episodes and whatnot so yeah pretty cool stuff and then hopefully i don't i don't want to damage anything trying to get this out all right there we go we have the dvd case with soma and megami right there on the front on the back just the episodes again and okay no uh no t no anime titty hitting us right in the face i'm not going to complain but i'm also you know not hap not happy about not having anime titty in the face you know what i'm saying um so here we just have soma and edina then we have ryu and god i always forget this guy's freaking name um <laughs> the spice guy 
Uh, anyway, it's not a big deal. <laughs> so this is all uh, 13 episodes on three DVDs. And, you know, I don't know if this is dubbed. Uh, let me check. Uh, let's see, let's see. Is it? Let's see if we can find this together. Audio, English, and Japanese. Okay, so it is dubbed. Um, I don't, I'll probably never watch. Maybe I'll check out the dub when I decide to do a rewatch. Um, but well, that won't be anytime soon. But I wonder, I wonder how good it is. Oh, so before I put this away, you know, usually I don't waste my time looking at art cards. But this is Food Wars. You know these art cards are about to be litty with anime titty. All right. So let's just crack these open real quick. We got Edina. Ba-bam. And these are actually pretty nice art cards. You can see there's, they're actually like engraved in there or embalmed, embossed or is that how you probably say it? We got Megumi. We got the other Nakiri. We got uh, that one. Oh, I mean, yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. These art cards are litty. Hell yeah. All right, uh, it's, to it's total perv mode. I'm just having some fun. You guys know how it is. Um, but yeah, I'd say these art cards are definitely worth uh, researching later for sure. Uh, you know, just you know, just for in terms of art, you know, I would I would definitely say you know if you're you know you're trying to look at some fine art, definitely check out these art cards. Um, <laughs> but anyways, jokes aside, uh, very satisfied with this limited edition uh, from Sentai Filmworks. Very happy with it. One more look. Okay, there you go. Um, I would. I really like this design. How this opens. Very fun. Uh, Sentai Filmworks. You know, I know they're always do a lot of gimmicky stuff, but I gotta say, I do enjoy it. Um, actually, all, there wasn't too many just really ridiculous extras in this box set. Just a couple. Um, nothing that just made me like lose my mind over one thing I was kind of ticked about was is that the limited for season one limited edition is 24 episodes and this is only 13 but they cost basically the same exact price maybe there's like a ten dollar difference but I feel like if they're gonna give us less episodes they should charge less but that's just how it be um, and I gotta say I am very satisfied with this box set and uh, if you got it yourself, I hope you are too. Or if you were maybe waiting for an unboxing video of this and you're on the fence about it, uh, hopefully this changed your mind to either decide not to buy it or to get it because obviously you don't want to buy something you don't want. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it for this unboxing video. Uh, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below of Food Wars, this box set. If you plan on getting this, uh, if you're not going to get it, which is, I guess, you don't have to comment that. It's not doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, hit that like button if you enjoyed anything I had to say. Any jokes? If you like any jokes? <laughs> any jokes? If you like that anime titty? Um, <laughs> I'm having too much fun with that today. Uh, that anime titty joke. Um, and yeah, just uh, if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Halls unboxing subscription or uh, halls unboxings, first impressions. Uh, and reviews and all of that general good weeb-ish. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This is Mr. Steo Senpai, signing out, and I'll see you next time.